Good morning, Wednesday Wonders. It's Ranger Erin, and today's wonder is what about spittle bugs? Now, spittle bugs may be a bug that you've never heard of, but they're pretty cool. So we're gonna try and find some out in the garden today. But if you've ever been looking around, especially in some grass, they like gardens and things like that, and you find kind of a strange glob of what looks like spit on a plant, you found the weird adaptation of a spittle bug. So these little creatures, they like to suck the juice out of plants. They are sap suckers. So they will suck all the juice, drinking plant juice. That's their whole diet as that little kid version of the spittle bug. But in, in order to keep themselves safe, they make this extra juicy bubble mix that they kind of spread over their whole body. So they'll be encased in this big glob of tiny little bubbles that kind of look like spit. It's not spit. But that, that helps them to stay protected from predators as well as from drying out because they're kind of a soft-bodied creature. So that's the kid version of the spittle bug. But you may also know the adult version, when they grow up, they become frog hoppers. So this one, you may never have heard the name for this one, but maybe if you were walking through a grass lawn with some tall grass, you would notice all these bugs, tiny little bugs, hopping, hopping, hopping everywhere with every step you take. And we'll definitely start seeing that maybe about a month or two from now when some of these spittle bugs start to grow up. And they jump, they have really strong back legs and they will jump anytime you come near them and we'll take a closer look at what those two look like, the young one and the adult. I found a little glob of spittle for our spittle bug. Remember, it's not really spittle, but when you're looking for them, you wanna kinda of look in the joints of plants. So it's kind of in this little protected area. And we're gonna take a closer look underneath the magnifying glass. Here we are looking at it up really close. Lots and lots of tiny little bubbles in there. And our bug is hidden on the inside. I'm gonna squirt it with just a little bit of water. Water's not really gonna hurt it. It's just plain old tap water. See if we can see our spittle bug on the inside of that glob. All right, let's put these guys back on a plant so they're happy. I bet you've never thought about making a shelter out of bubbles, but that's our activity for today. We're gonna make a bug-sized shelter out of bubbles, just like our spittle bugs, making our own homemade blowing bubbles. This bubble recipe is really easy. We're gonna start off with a half a cup of regular dish soap. Any smell, any color is fine. Drop that in our mixing bowl. Now I'm gonna add one and a half cups of water. Already starting to make some bubbles. And the very last thing is two teaspoons of sugar. I'm gonna stir that up a little bit. Not too much, because I don't want it to make too many bubbles in the bowl. And if you've got a bubble wand, you can use that. Or if you've got a straw, you can use that. I'm just gonna dip it in here. And this will save for the whole summer if you want. 
So if you're interested in going out and looking for some spittle bugs, I would suggest looking around prairie areas, maybe some areas that have some big lovely flowers, or they really like to get into some gardens. Don't worry if you have them in your garden, they won't hurt your plants. It doesn't really help the plant, but for the most part, it's not gonna kill your plant. And definitely bring a little squirt of water, just plain old tap water, as well as your magnifying glass, because these guys are tiny. And then months from now, when you're walking in some of those fields and you see those frog hoppers jumping around, you'll know what those are too.